Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Welcome back to another video, guys. We are in the A10 Warthog today, and I've discovered a checkpoint off ahead that we're going to check out, and then we're going to try to clear it. Uh, this is another video in the series of me trying to learn the Warthog. Um, by no means consider me as knowing what I'm doing here. We have a bunch of civilian vehicles that seem to be being blocked by a BTR or some sort of armored vehicle some sort of IFB. Uh, we got some outposts and a bunch of civilians there. So I can't hit that thing with a 2,000 pound bomb, unfortunately. There's like a bus there. <laughs> there are multiple buses there and a whole bunch of other civilians. So we're going to have to hit that position with guns, I think. Guns will be the most precision thing. I mean, a Maverick would do well too, but that, you know, it's still going to blow up and I can't control the explosion. So I'm gonna have to go with guns, I think. I am enjoying the Warthog quite a bit. It's a little bit slower paced than I'm used to in F-16s and stuff, but um, it is fun. Air to ground is tedious, but rewarding at times. Uh, playing around with the TGP a little bit here. Okay, uh, things are looking good. I think we have enough separation, so I'm gonna start turning in. line this guy up. Luckily there's no enemy aircraft in the area. The A-10 would not be operating in a location where like let's say there's MiG-29s or something like that. They would have been long cleared out or I would have F-15, F-16 cover in order to avoid any problems there. Okay let's uh, start dropping the nose here. And there's the diamond showing me where the TGP is looking and then we'll go ahead and just absolutely dump 30 millimeter rounds into this guy. Pull up, pull up. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, that was pretty good. I'm happy with that. No civilians hit there. Oh, we are taking some, uh, I don't know, what is that? Small arms? Obviously, not very happy. I just lit up their checkpoint. So I'm flying low here because I think I saw a helicopter. So I just want to fly low so I can... Uh, oh, I see him. He's on the edge of the screen there. If you didn't see him, I'll show him to you in a second here. I was trying to silhouette him against the blue sky, so I was flying low. It'd be easier to see him instead of looking down and having to pick him out of ground clutter. I think it's a damaged MI-24. It's a hind who's trying to exit the area. Altitude, altitude. Fox 2. And splash. Okay, there we go. And that's why the A-10 has air-to-air -air modes. It's things like this. It's not so he can dogfight. <laughs> and I know that, but it's still fun to dogfight with the A-10 sometimes. Alright, splash one hind there. Let's get back to work. I'm sure we'll find other helicopters operating in the area. Look at this little, uh, little campsite they have set up here. And there's a hind right in the middle of it. There's another, I think, an MI-8 to the right of that as well. So we'll use the Mavericks on this one. These guys don't seem like they're active right now. But they might try to take off, and that's unacceptable. So we're going to have to kill them here, assuming that I can make the Mavericks work. For me in the A-10, the Mavericks have been the hardest to operate. There's just so many things you got to do. Okay, I think we got a point track now on that helicopter. We're going to slave the Maverick Seeker with China Hat Forward Long. Now the Seeker is slaved to the TGP. The Maverick came off the rail perfectly. And we're going to switch over to a Mark 84. So I'm going to hit him with the Maverick and I'm going to drop a 2,000 pounder on the other one on the right side of the base. Okay, so those of you who want to see that, watch the screen here for the impact but I have to line up our uh, 2,000 pound bomb drop here. That Maverick will hit though, I don't have any doubts about that. There it is, impact. The Maverick, a little bit off target here. I can still fix it though. There we go. 
We'll try to drop it on the other helicopter, slightly right of that last impact point. And pickle. All right, nose up and wing over and hold this, my dude. Nice. <laughs> I love 2,000 pound bombs, man. Yeah, they're dumb bombs, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> they're still so much fun. I wish the A-10 could drop the Moab. That'd be pretty cool. All right, I got um, some cluster bombs. I'm gonna drop on this tree line here. I've already confirmed a bunch of uh, enemy infantry in this tree line. And we'll pull off here, pickle that off. And hopefully it doesn't hit too far into the city, but just the tree line. That went kind of deep into the city, but... Oh, look at this. Look at this, we got an SA-13, I think. Some sort of uh, anti-air over there. Luckily, it seems like he's out of range. And we're gonna flare, because I think he just shot a Ken. He did. There's another one over there, but I think that missed. I think it went for the flares. So I think we're safe. Oh, look at that. It hit right here. <laughs> All right, got lucky there. So I kind of got disoriented and I forget where the anti-air was shooting from, the SA-13. So I'm kind of trying to bait him into shooting me again, but I don't want to get too close. But if I can find his location, I'll be able to shoot a Maverick at him or something. But I wasn't able to do that. He didn't shoot at me. Oh, there it is. There's a... yeah. I say 13 right there. I'm just gonna hit, put the TGP on it. Right at that point. And then we'll defend, I'll drop all the flares, I'll get some separation, and I'll come back and hit that with a Maverick. We are flying over some friendly forces here. And we're taking some small arms again from that tree line, it's okay though. Flares, we're safe from the SA-13. But uh, there is a... oh, what is that? There's a missile launch right there. Oh, what is that? What is that? What's that? Whoa! What? It was an ATGM. I got hit with an ATGM. How how does somebody guide an ATGM onto a warthog like that? I was like flaring because I I didn't think I thought it was like a the SA-13 or something. <laughs> So the guy that got me was actually the KA-50. There was a KA-50 around here. And he got me with an ATGM. Now I am taking some small arms, but I'm pretty fast, so it's hard for them to hit me. I still don't advise this, but I want... I want revenge on that KA-50. I'm gonna find him, and I'm gonna kill him. Even though I think he might be a tough nut to crack. The KA-50 is actually a difficult opponent. Alright, I found this guy. He's on the other side of this river. And he saw me. So this is not going to be a surprise attack. And I think he's actually facing to look at me. Oh! So that thing that went by, that was an ATGM that he shot at me. He just tried to kill me again with an ATGM. And I've got Sidewinders pulled up here. If we can get Tone, I'm going to shoot one right in his big dumb face. Fox 2. And another one, Fox 2, because that first one went for flares. Second one went for flares. Okay, we're going to have to gun this guy. This is getting ridiculous. Flare this off. There you go. <laughs> yeah, flares don't work against 30 mil, buddy. Oh, yeah. He just ejected in time, too. Ow! Alright, luckily it's just small arms. A ten's fine. On the other side of that base, 
that we found. There's some trucks and stuff, so I'm gonna give them another 2,000 pounder. Like their day has not already been bad enough. We're gonna give them another one. And we'll line them up right here. There's just a couple of trucks and stuff I wanna knock out. Pickle. Nose up. Roll over. And that should hit him right in his head. There we go. Whoa. We got some nice secondaries. Look at the size of that explosion. It's almost as big as the building. There's a bunch of uh, all kinds of infantry and tanks and stuff in that tree line. There's a T-72 right there. Point track on that guy. And I think what I'm going to do is drop a CBU over there. Uh, it's not going to do anything to the T-72, of course. Uh, but the TGP will make sure I don't hit friendly forces. It'll come from that location. But there is a lot of infantry over there, and I think a CBU will be very helpful for the uh, friendly forces that are going to head over there. And I'm not too worried about the T-72, but honestly, we can come back around and hit it later, or uh, the Abrams will take it out. It's not even a big deal. Where is it? Uh, I thought it was right here. Um, where is it? Where's the diamond? Oh, the diamond. There it is. Okay. The top right of the screen there is a diamond. I'm going to follow that diamond to the point, and that'll confirm. Yeah, so right there is where I want to drop the CPU. Nice way to deconflict and make sure you're not dropping it on a friendly's head drop it right on the spot you confirmed as hostile. There we go. And pickle. Hold that, my dude. That is a giant CBU 87. Nice. Alright, that tree line is clear. <laughs> Cluster munitions are pretty satisfying too. 